I saw Karate Illuminati, this is Noah, and today I'd like to talk a little bit about kumite, or sparring. Now, today, if you go into any karate school, you're most likely going to find that they do one of two kinds of sparring, either knockdown fighting or point fighting. Knockdown fighting would be the type of fighting that's primarily popularized by Kyokushin karate, um, although it came originally from the irikumi go, or hard inside fighting of gojuri. Uh, and that is essentially getting in close to the opponent, usually through a war of attrition, trying to drop them to the ground. Uh, or knock them out. Point fighting, on the other hand, was primarily popularized via Shotokan Karate on mainland Japan, uh, and it was emulating Kendo. So essentially they took a look at Kendo, where you have this long distance because you have weapons, you try to get in close enough to touch with your weapon, get away before you can be touched, and then it stops because the fight would be over. It's that one shot, one kill mentality. But if you look at both of those methods of sparring, neither one of them really does a good job of emulating the methods of the kata, which is really supposed to be the curriculum of karate. And if you're not sparring with the methods of your kata, then they're really not serving the purpose that they were intended for, and your karate really isn't as practical as it should be. If you want to spar with the methods of kata, neither of those really fit as a kumite method. That doesn't mean that they're necessarily bad or have no value. It's just that they don't do a good job of training you to apply the methods of classical karate. Now a better way to approach kumite, rather than having this one type of kumite that you decide on, is to have a collection of kumite methods that you use in order to emulate different aspects of fighting so that you can really hone in on developing the skills that you need to develop. This is where things like bully sparring come in. Uh, bully sparring is essentially where you have one person whose job it is to just keep on the forward pressure and keep attacking no matter what the other person does. Then you get into things like kakedemeshi, which is a sticky hand sparring. It forces you to stay in close, but it allows both practitioners to work equally. So it's a symmetrical form of sparring, whereas bully sparring is asymmetrical because you're doing different things. Uh, then you can get into, of course, MMA-style sparring, where you have all ranges, long range, close range, groundwork so that you can get all of it involved. You can, of course, gain value from that knockdown or kickboxing style sparring as well, grappling-focused sparring, and, of course, simulation training, where you actually do role play with uh, individual pairings as well as larger groups to get them used to self-defense scenarios as they actually happen. And all of these things combine, do a lot of overlapping with each other, but they also hit on certain key aspects of self-defense uh, that really aren't hit on very well in most sport kumite, and really bring out the aspects of classical karate that are meant to be found through the kata in your training. So hopefully that's helpful to you guys, and you're able to kind of focus your kumite in a way that makes your karate practical and more in line with its classical intent.